just wanted to take you on a little tour of my new desk setup. So when my computer broke the other day, I sent it into Apple to get fixed. Uh, it's a long story, but basically I had never turned off the battery. And because of that, I never let it power sleep or whatever Apple maintenance battery does for a year and a half. The battery had expanded. It had warped the case. It had ruined the trackpad and the battery kept turning off and on by itself all the time. And so I sent it into Apple to get repaired. It was only $200. And while I was waiting, because it took a while because it happened to be over the 4th of July weekend, I thought, you know what? I think I just want to go ahead and upgrade to a Mac Pro. And so I did. So let me take you on a little tour. I'll explain how to save money if you would like to buy one and also the exact configuration that I purchased as a graphic designer and what I would suggest to you. So this is the new computer with the YouTube studio laid on top of it. Uh, so basically before I had a 34 inch ultra wide, but now I have these dual XDR screens. And then down here, I actually put the desktop on the ground just because I wanted it to be out of the way. Plus over here, you have all of the power strips and cords in a bamboo box safely hidden away from the cat who likes to walk on the off on switch. You have my sound mixer and then you have the mic that I use for recording. And then the rest of the desk is relatively clear. So over here we have, again, this is meant to hold laundry. It's a laundry bin, but instead I use it to hold, I don't know if you can see that, the power strip. And again, that's just to protect it from the cat walking on it. And honestly, I think it's just a little cleaner when it's all sitting inside of there. So let's walk around on the other side so you can see. So I still have my overhead over here, this clamp that holds the phone so I can record videos of unboxings. And I have another bamboo box to hold more cords. And then over here is my beloved new Google Home. I absolutely love this thing. And then over here is the view that I have when I sit down to work at the desk. As you can see, Lucky is the background desktop image on both screens. And what I did is instead of putting it in the center, I basically have one screen as my center. And then this one over here is just kind of an auxiliary screen. So I can drag and drop things and just kind of extend this main screen over here. All right, so now that you've seen it from all the angles, let me show you first how to save money on your purchase. So the first thing you should know is I 100% think you should buy the XDR stands, the mounts that Apple sells. I know that you know, some people were complaining that the thousand dollars is too much, but they're totally worth it. I love them. They're pretty. Uh, I trust that, you know, my $5,000 monitor is not going to fall or anything bad is going to happen because of the magnet and how everything is set up. And I did purchase Apple Care. I 100% recommend that uh, in case something happens to your screens, buy Apple Care. And I you, maybe you don't need two screens. I definitely wanted two screens. I was used to the 32 inch ultra wide. And if you've ever had an iMac, you know, the iMac is the screen is very tall. Uh, so you're you're not getting a lot of width and I really need to have width to have things that I can move back and forth and that's why I got two XDR monitors instead of one. The other thing I would recommend too is I did go ahead and upgrade to, I shouldn't say upgrade, I added the Logitech uh, 4k Brio. And this is a special one just made just for the XDR screens. There's a magnet inside of here. And so this just sits here on a magnet. The other one I had looped over, you know, to hang onto the screen and it did take up some of the screen. So I wasn't able to see some of the applications and things I was working on. So I would definitely upgrade. And honestly, I was able to sell the other one I had on eBay for, I think a hundred dollars extra than I paid for it because so many people are working from home right now. And there's just, not enough inventory for a Logitech Brio to go around. So if you have one already, just go ahead and sell it on eBay. You will 100% make your money back and then some, even with the eBay fits, uh, fees. And I did free shipping. I still came out ahead. And then this one is only, I think, 189 But obviously, you can only use it if you have the XDR screen. So, And they're not marking those up at all. Um, the other thing I would say, too, is I, when I bought the configuration. So I'll show you all the prices that I bought, but um, it was, I think around 11,000 for the Mac Pro. If I could, I would have splurged and upgraded on the RAM. So I have 96 gigabytes of RAM, but I would have definitely gone up to the next level because right now when I run InDesign, Photoshop, a final cut to do video editing, and I have some Chrome tabs open, which is pretty much normal for me, it is pushing right around the top of that. Uh, 
so I feel like I'm not sure exactly how RAM works, but I know that the more buffer you have, the better it is usually. So I would definitely have upgraded on that as well. I would not have gotten, I did get four gigabytes of storage, but honestly, I still don't trust storage on a computer. And because I had lost so much on that other one, I'm just using external drives. So I probably would have downgraded the storage and just done one tera or two terabytes or whatever the smallest one is, and then just gone with external drives because there are so many ports inside of here. You don't have to worry like with the laptops that you run out of ports and you can't plug it in or something like that. So for sure, I would have done that. I would definitely go ahead and buy just the screen first because all you have to do is spend $5,000 with Apple and then you get put into a program called Apple Business. So actually, let me take that back. You should sign up for Apple Business first. Then you just have to have a regular email. Like you can't use Gmail or Yahoo or Hotmail or something like that. You have to have like an at prettyfabulousdesigns.com like business email. They'll enroll you in the business program. Once you hit 5,000, then you get access to special pricing. So buy the screen, just buy one screen first uh, or check to see your Apple purchases. It's on a one year rolling basis. So after a year from today, then I will have to make another $5,000 purchase in order to qualify for business pricing. Uh, and the pricing isn't like a straight 5% or 10% across the board. It's like this whole different pricing. So when I bought the second screen, I think I got like $300 off the second screen. And then I got a hundred dollars off of the um, stand. And then I got $50 off of Apple care, a hundred percent by Apple care. I have had so many problems with third party, like square trade, trying to get claims in. You just want to buy Apple care and go directly through Apple. Um, so those would be my only uh, advice. The other thing too is I signed up for Barclay card has Apple financing. So you just apply for that ahead of time. And then you have like, as long as you spend, it's something small, like a thousand dollars, then you, I'm not that a thousand dollars is small, but it's a, it's a minimal amount that you're definitely going to qualify. I mean, for is as long as you spend a thousand dollars, then you get 18 months of interest free uh, deferments. So for 18 months, you don't have to make a single payment. So that's plenty of time to build your planner empire and then start selling uh, a ton of them. And then you're able to pay off all of your, your purchases. But I definitely think this is so super worth it if you do graphic design and you are a YouTuber because it has literally cut my work time in half. Uh, and I mean, I haven't used it that much, but it's super fast and I don't have to worry about things crashing or things like just getting overloaded where you have that spinning beach ball of death. Uh, so that really just hasn't happened yet. So, and the two screens for me were key just because I like having two screens. Um, later today, depending on when you're watching this, I am doing, uh, the, um, the top five planner trends for 2021. So it's a nice layout. I get to see everything over here. You can see uh, what people see on their end over here. So the two screens are like something that you're really going to love. Now it is pretty expensive. So if you were just starting out, I would say just get the one screen um, to do that. And yes, for sure, the colors do look much better. I did get the regular uh, screens, the standard display. I didn't upgrade to the Nano, which is an extra thousand. And the reason I didn't is because the Nano screen is really just meant there to take away the glare. So two things. One, I work from home, so it's not like I'm stuck in a corporate office where there's glares everywhere and I can't control the lighting. I can 100% control how the lighting works in my own apartment. And two, the Nano texture to prevent the glare makes it so the display colors do not look as vibrant and as pretty and I don't know bright as the um, the regular standard display when you have the nano so that was another reason I chose the standard display uh, so all around it was a better purchase for me and it was less expensive so I hope that helps if you've been thinking about it and you know the big question is is it worth it a thousand percent I would I like definitely think it's worth it. I definitely think that this is going to help my productivity. Um, I'm super excited to work on it. I'm super excited to create new things for you. Uh, and yeah, 
I think, you know, if you do graphic design or you're a YouTuber, then I think this is the perfect combination. And honestly, even if you don't do YouTube and you're just a graphic designer, I should say just, but in case you only do graphic design and you are going to have some Chrome tabs open and you want to have multiple applications open, like Photoshop and Illustrator and InDesign and move things around, because that's really how the Adobe Suite is set up. I think that that is definitely the way to go. So anybody has any questions, let me know. Um, oh, the other thing I want to say really, really important is when, if you have an Apple product that you're trading in, whether it's, it's your laptop or an iMac or something else, 1000% do not do the Apple trade-in. So my laptop is Apple trade-in value is something tiny, like $650, even though I paid $3,800 for it just like a year and a half ago. Uh, so I checked on eBay and I just, you know, I sell everything. I resell all my Apple products on eBay and that I was able, or I shouldn't say able, but all the other prices for similarly uh, like built laptops, because it was a custom build, that's why it was so expensive they're selling for like 22 or 2400. So you can either, you know, do the 2400 on eBay or you could take the 500 from Apple. It seems like a no brainer to me. Yes, it's easier to turn it into Apple, uh, but I feel like it's worth your time and energy to learn how to use eBay for that extra two, like almost $2,000. And yes, the eBay, eBay, the eBay, eBay has fees, but they're minimal, like it's not even that much. So even if I sold that laptop for say $2,000, the fees are going to be maybe 300. And the shipping, I always do, you know, free shipping. And the shipping is all, as long as you stay within the contiguous US, it's gonna be minimal because they have such great rates with uh, UPS and FedEx and everything else. I don't think I've ever paid more than $20 to ship anything on eBay. Yes, even a laptop that's pretty big. Uh, so um, that is pretty much it. Just wanted to give you guys an update uh, and I hope everyone's having a great start to their week. I'm super excited, don't worry, I am like on top of it of doing all the things that I promised that I wasn't able to do those two weeks. I didn't have a laptop. So I will have new dates and new information coming to you very soon. All right.